Example 2. Consider again the weighted voting system with a quota of 4. The weights of the players are 3, 2, and 1. We're going to complete the table so that we can compute the shapely shubik power distribution, and we had computed this using the bands aft power distribution in an earlier video. With the shapely shubik power distribution, we need to consider the sequential coalitions, and each player will get added into the sequential coalition one player at a time in the order that they are in the sequential coalition. The first player that makes this into a winning coalition when they get added in is what we call the pivotal player. So our first sequential coalition, player 1, 2, and 3. The weight of player 1 is 3 which does not meet our quota, so now we need to add in player 2 that has a weight of 2, and 3 plus 2 is 5, meeting our quota, so player 2 is our pivotal player. The sequential coalition with players 1, 3, and 2, player 1 has a weight of 3, player 3 has a weight of 1, and now we have met our quota, and so player 3 is our pivotal player. The sequential coalition, player 2, player 1, player 3. Player 2 has a weight of 2. Player 1 has a weight of 3. And now we've met the quota, and so player 1 is our pivotal player. The sequential coalition, player 2, player 3, player 1. Player 2 has a weight of 2. Player 3 has a weight of 1. We still have not met our quota of 4, so player 1 gets added in with their weight of 3, and now we have a total weight of 6, which meets our quota, and so player 1 was the pivotal player there. The sequential coalition containing player 3, player 1, player 2. Player 3 has a weight of 1. Player 1 has a weight of 3, and now we've met our quota of 4, and so player 1 is the pivotal player. And the last sequential coalition with players 3, player 2, player 1. Player 3 has a weight of 1. Player 2 has a weight of 2. We still have not met our quota of 4, so we need to add in player 1 with their weight of 3. And now we have a total weight of 6, which meets the quota, and so player 1 is pivotal in that sequential coalition. Now we need to figure out how many times each player was pivotal. Player 1 was pivotal 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Player 2 was only pivotal this one time and player 3 was also only pivotal one time. We also need the total, and 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. And then we make up our fractions. So for player 1, it's 4 divided by 6, or 4 6, and we need to um, express that fraction in reduced form, and both 4 and 6 are divisible by 2, so that reduces down to 2 thirds. Player 2 was pivotal one time, so that's 1 sixth. And also player 3 was only pivotal once, so they are also 1 sixth. How does this distribution compare to the bands aft distribution of the same corporation? So here I have listed the bands aft distribution that we got in an earlier video. Player 1 had the index three-fifths, which is about 60%, or not about, it is exactly equal to 60%, and players two and three were one-fifth, and that's 20%. So the reason that I have the percents is that it's easier to compare percents than it is for us to compare fractions. Two-thirds, two divided by three gives you 66, or well, it would be 0 0.666 repeating, converted to a percent that would be about 67% if we round to the whole, nearest whole percent. 1 divided by 6 would give you 0 0.166 with a 6 repeating, so that would be approximately 17%. So comparing these, they're pretty similar. But player one has a slightly higher index 
and players two and three have slightly lower index using the shapely Schubeck. Then the Banzaf. So again, they're fairly similar to one another. Um, but when we use the shapely Schubeck, player one has a slightly higher index than they did with the Banzaf, and players two and three have a slightly lower index than they did using the Banzaf. So that is all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're having a great day.